Hi, Prabhu here. Welcome to modeling a complex shape in Maya. In this video tutorial, you learned about how to model a pen stand in Maya. We utilize some tips and tricks to achieve this shape. And we use animation deformers to create some complex shapes. Okay, let's get started. So first of all go to create panel, go to polygon primitives, disable the interactive creation. So that means when I click on poly cylinder, so it will automatically create it in the center of grid. Press 5 in keyboard to see the shaded mode. So press R and scale a little bit like this. So and scale in uh, Y, little bit like this. Press R to scale like this. So you want to increase the divisions up to uh, 30. So then you want to create uh, one poly pipe. So move upside. So go to top view. So you want to scale exactly. Uh, according to this mesh so go to perspective so press R to scale in Y press W and move upside for create the top part so you want to increase the same divisions of 30 and you want to keep thickness of 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 so you need to add uh, 0.15 something like that so and create some height little bit thickness like this so do 0.1 so it's enough so for this thickness so now you want to create another cylinder uh, so go to top view and so go to shading and choose wireframe on shader so that means you exactly see the uh, other uh, wireframes so scale little bit like this press 4 to see in wireframe mode so press w so you want to fix exactly in center of this uh, poly pipe so go to perspective so press 5 to see the shader mode move this one in center so go to front view so you want to keep this as a center press R and scale in Y like this so you want to scale exactly like this so press W and move a little bit like this go to top view so press 4 so you want to place exactly like this go to perspective so see what it's happen so somewhat like this so you want to keep this thickness of very uh, little so go to uh, poly cylinder so you want to give radius of 0 0.5 so it's very thin so go to top view so press 4 to see the wireframe mode so now I want to give some subdivisions to this cylinder so because I want to use some deformers so I select this uh, cylinder go to uh, poly cylinder inputs and view uh, subdivisions heights to 50 or something like this so that means you got uh, number of divisions between heights so go to top view press 4 so you want to keep this pivot on this center part that means you will able to make some duplicates press hold D in keyboard and V in keyboard hold D plus V in keyboard and hold middle mouse button so that means you will able to uh, snap the pivot any vertex you want so I want to grab this vertex and place in middle so press ctrl D to duplicate this uh, object and press E 
and you want to rotate in Y so that means you have duplicates according to this uh, rotations so I want to keep little bit like this press shift D to duplicate multiple as same distance so give uh, number of whole give shift D multiple times to duplicate same thing so like that go to perspective press 5 to see the shade and mode so hold the uh, select whole mesh on this center part so now you want to uh, use deformers so go to polygon tab so go to uh, sorry go to animation tab go to create deformers choose non-linear and choose twist so it will apply on like this so now I want to disable the wireframe go to shading and disable the wireframe on shader so that means you will able to see what exactly happen so go to twist inputs so now you want to adjust the uh, start angle so like this so see here now I increase the start angle so it will be twisted so somewhat like this see here so it will be twisted like this so click here and hold middle mouse and drag to make like this so now we got that pin stand uh, of shape so now I want to uh, give some uh, edge bevel for this top object so I select this object and click this button to isolate this object go to uh, edge mode double click on this edge shift to double click on this edge so same thing you want to do in downside double click on this edge shift to double click on this edge go to polygons tab and go to edit mesh and choose bevel so and bevel this one so give segments of 2 and give offset value a little bit if you are using latest version please increase the fraction amount so in so that means the edge should be bevel little bit now I want to smooth this edge so select this mesh in object mode go to normals and choose soften edge so now I got little bit bevel in this area so now I want to make uh, so see here uh, the twisted history is uh, still having in this mesh so select the whole object uh, go to edit and choose delete by type and choose history so it will clear that uh, history in that all mesh so that means the twist uh, deformers will be uh, cleared out so now you want to make some uh, pins to keep here so you will model or check out my youtube channel there is uh, one tutorial for how to model a six side polygon pencil so uh, go to and import that any pen or pencil for keep inside of this mesh so go to file and choose import so I will import my Maya ASCII file so import so in that I will want to import my pen MA file so now I want to keep this pen inside so so now I want to keep this pen inside so press W and move like this so if you want to go front view so you will able to see exactly what happened uh, for placements go to side view or top view so you will able to see exactly happen like this 
so somewhat like that so okay so sometimes the pivot will not be stand perfect so i hold d and v and middle mouse you to keep pivot in bottom bottom side so i will fix here and press he and rotate uh, somewhat like this so that means i will able to match exactly where i want so that's it uh, so this is the method to create you uh pin stand so i hope you like it so i will see you later on some other modeling videos so please subscribe to my youtube channel so thank you